Okay guys, what we're gonna be making right now is our chocolate chip cookies, okay? So we're gonna start off with mixing the two types of sugars. So I already have measured out one cup of brown sugar. Then we're gonna do one cup of regular sugar. This is half cup, so I'm doing two scoops. And then each stick of butter is worth half a cup. So we need two sticks of butter for one cup of butter. And it must be softened. So I had already put it in the microwave for 20 seconds. You can see that it's soft, it's not melted. go ahead and blend this together. You don't need to worry about over mixing this because it doesn't have the flour in it yet increase the speed as well. and then we'll put in the vanilla. be smooth once you're at this point. You shouldn't have any clumps of sugar or anything like that. Okay, and this is going to be, the next thing is two teaspoons of vanilla. I'm going to just leave this in here, guys. Remember with vanilla, it spills out quickly, so make sure that you are measuring slowly. Don't be in a rush when pouring this. Okay. I'm gonna wipe this off because we're gonna need it again. And then mix it one more time. thing is I already microwaved the water so this is hot water right here and then we are going to dissolve baking soda and we need one teaspoon of baking soda make sure it's baking soda and not baking powder because those are two totally different things
baking soda usually comes in a uh, well, an orange container or box. Usually it's in a cardboard box. I have this one though. Um, okay, so I'm gonna stir it up a little bit to make sure it dissolves. Okay. And then we're gonna add this into into the mixture. Use a silicone spatula to scrape it all out because some might get stuck to the bowl. And then, and then we have the salt. We need a half teaspoon. usually will hit it against the bowl while it's still on because you want to get as much batter off as you can from there. So now that we've added all these uh, wet ingredients, now we need to add in the flour. And remember what I said before with flour, as soon as we put the flour in, we need to make sure we stir slowly as to not create too much protein called gluten. Okay. So we're doing three cups of flour for this recipe. This recipe makes about 36 cookies or three dozen. Okay. So now we're going to just combine it slowly where it becomes dough. do not want to see any flour that's loose. It should be all combined where it's not white anymore. Usually what I'll do is grab it from the bottom and flip it on top. So now you can see where the flour is still at. Next thing to add are the chocolate chip cookies, chocolate chips. You're going to use a whole 12 ounce bag for this. And with this, you're just combining it in there also. this point it gets a little bit difficult to mix it together so usually I just kind of stab it into the dough so it gets in there real well okay now what you're gonna do is you are going to Grab some of the dough 
and put it on your lined baking sheet. It's best to put it with a uh, parchment paper. I usually will get a tablespoon and kind of make them all as even as possible because if you have one cookie that's giant it's not going to cook all the way through and then if you make one that's like too small it's going to burn and then it won't taste good. Yeah. So it's, go it's going to spread out when it starts um, when it's baking. So make sure to give it some space. Um, you should be able to put 12 cookies on the baking sheet. Make sure not to put it too close to the edge also because it is going to spread out like I said. Okay, and now we're ready to bake these cookies. let it bake at 375 degrees for about 10 minutes and then you'll have a lot of cookies to eat later. Thanks guys.